My name is Ben Knoll. I am the Director of Patient-Centered Research at the Global Healthy Living Foundation and for the Creaky Joints Arthritis Patient Community. I'm also the co-PI for Arthritis Power. It's a patient-powered research network or patient registry. So patients within Arthritis Power are self-reporting uh, their symptoms, so pain, interference, uh, fatigue, physical function, sleep disturbance. Uh, they're also uh, doing their rapid three. And they're also self-reporting the medications that they're taking. So in this study, we looked specifically at patients who have rheumatoid arthritis. And we looked at a total of 1,082 patients who had self-reported their medications, uh, had completed some patient-reported outcome data, and had RA. So this is for patients uh, with adult uh, who, are, who are adults within our network. What we found, some interesting findings, it's, it's a cross-sectional study, so we would really need to uh, do a longitudinal study uh, to draw some, some better conclusions. But what we found was that for patients, uh, when we stratified by disease activity, uh, patients in remission, uh, low disease activity, moderate or high, uh, according to the RAPID-3, we found that patients who were taking methotrexate uh, monotherapy had higher fatigue scores compared with patients on other combinations of therapy, so biologic monotherapy or combination therapy. But that that difference was not uh, a clinically uh, important difference, um, you know, enough to, to sort of warrant uh, real concern. We did find, however, that as uh, patients, uh, we looked up at the other strata uh, in disease activity, so for low disease activity or moderate or high disease activity, uh, there's very little difference in the, in the fatigue scores uh, when we looked across the therapy combinations that they were on. So for, for doctors, the important thing is that one is that we can, it's feasible to collect data from patients about their symptoms, about their disease activity uh, remotely using uh, a smartphone app like Arthritis Power. Uh, and also it demonstrates that methotrexate is an important therapy. It's something that a lot of patients have heard about um, and that we can, um, we can actually see that it, it's, it, it's, a, it's an important and effective treatment that patients should be taking and know what the, the sort of possible side effects are. Um, and even though there's some troublesome side effects that some patients are not crazy about or are, are nervous about before they take it that actually um, there's not clinically important differences um, compared with other therapies. This, uh, this project, Arthritis Power, is funded by the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute, and it was an infrastructure award uh, to develop our patient-powered research network.